hi okay this is my like fourth time trying to film this um let's just do it okay hi my name is aya uh tonight i'm gonna be showing you <laughs> how to um use structolite um in my studio with my friend mortimer or this is the studio that i have my friend mortimer he is not here unfortunately um yeah, I feel like a YouTuber right now. Anywho, uh, so I bet you're wondering what Structolite is. Um, Structolite is essentially a plaster-based cement in the sense that it is a binder and an aggregate. An aggregate being, in this case, perlite. Uh, perlite is a volcanic glass which allows for Structolite to have great heat insulation. So it's really used in the, in the industrial field for patching vertical surfaces in buildings. Uh, it's really nice to put around fireplaces and things that do get hot. Um, but it's also really great for casting and also making skins or shells on your artwork. Um, and so I'm going to show you today how to mix it, some tips and tricks, etc. And then how it's been applied in my own practice. Um, okay, so I failed at doing the demo once, so let me come right back with a different angle. Okay, my battery's about to die soon, so I need to hurry up. Um, Alright, so here's my sad, pathetic setup. I have a water bucket here for mixing the Structolite. I have a wash bucket here that's been thoroughly used. I have some examples of Structolite being applied on different surfaces here. Uh, one tinted with like acrylic paint and then one just the Structolite itself. And then some different castings over here. This was in a mold that I made of a piece that I had welded. Um, Structolite's honestly not that great for solid casting unless it's like with an easy mold to get out of. Like this is at the bottom of a, just a quart container. So that was easy to pop off, but <laughs> this obviously broke in multiple ways. So, but anyway, and then the star material over here, Structolite or Tructo L, as you can see over here. Um, and so Structolite is kind of a tri tricky product to use. I'm gonna have my face now. Um, because the ratio on the back is for just a 50 pound bag of Structolite. So it's hard to get the ratio exactly right because with any plaster-based material, you're gonna have your own preferences for the water mix. Um, and so on the back, it says 12 to 15 quarts per 50 pound bag. Um, you know, be the, just know that that's going to be like a lot less water than you think to use with this. Uh, if you use too much water, it's going to be way too thin. It's not going to stick onto vertical surfaces. It's going to be really brittle. So, but then it might be great for casting. So, honestly, I'm just going to show you a way of mixing it to a thicker consistency, more like whipping cream or like a dough that you can like slap onto surfaces and have it coat your product project. Um, and so, what I'm going to do here is grab. About, I don't know how much the weight is necessarily, but it's roughly a quart of Structolite. You would typically sift it in, however, I'm not going to do that, unfortunately, I'm one-handing this. Uh, but you would want to sift it in because there are like larger chunks of this. Sorry, I'm doing a horrible job at filming. But um, there are larger chunks sometimes in this, and you want to break up the chunks like as you're mixing it, but I'm going to hand mix it anyway, so I will get the chunks out that way. Grabbing a bit more of it. So about like two quarts, and this is about like 16 ounces or one pint of water. Uh, yeah. And so now I'm just going to hand mix that. And it's going to be a really thick consistency. I might have needed more water, but I think for... Sorry, I'm not even filming. I think for this instance, it'll be just okay. Um, and so, yeah, you're gonna want to mix it. Typically, I would wear gloves. I've kind of just given up tonight. I've been working with clay, so my hands are already dried enough. Um, but yeah, and so you're gonna get to a really thick consistency by mixing it really well. People typically mix it with like a dry mi or a drill mixer, I should say. Um, and you know, this stuff isn't that time sensitive. Uh, you can add accelerants to it to like make it set faster. Hold on, I'm sorry. 
Um, this is terrible. But um, I don't do that just because I don't have like that much of a time constraint when using it. Uh, it'll set in about, depending on how thick you apply it, it'll set in about like four to five hours, roughly. Um, but yeah, so I'm just mixing it. There's still a bit at the bottom that's not mixed in properly, but you kind of get the idea. Um, it has like a really thick dough consistency, as you can see, and you can see all the little perlite uh, like textures in it. But that's how it's mixed just by hand. That's a really rough estimate. Um, there are other videos online to show you how to mix it like the quote unquote proper way, like industrial way, but honestly, it's really good to experiment. Um, it's not going to be that wasteful because this bag kind of goes a long way, but also not really. Because uh, I think like one bag can cover like, I think it's like 300 square feet or something like that, to 392 square feet, I don't know. You can look on USG's um, website to know how much it is. But anyway, I'm just lightly washing my hands because you never want to put um, any plaster-based material down the sink. Like small amounts of it is fine, as in like, you know, the residue that you have on your hand, but you never want to pour anything down the sink because it's going to end up messing up your drain. Um, so yeah, and so this consistency would be great to get something like this, like putting it on, this is just styrofoam. So putting it on styrofoam and then just waiting, you can put other coats on here. It's very, very lightweight. That's like the best benefit to Structolite, not just its heat insulation, but it's lightweight material. And so these weigh like very, very light. Um, don't know like the approximate weight of it, but yeah. And so it's just not that great for um, solid casting again, just because it's brittle. Like you would need some type of like metal um, rod in the center to give it support but even then it might not be as durable just because it has a lot of air pockets due to the perlite or just areas where it wants to break um and so if you follow me real quick i'm just like avoiding editing this video like obviously i will but i'm not stitching that many clips together so sorry um over here in the project space is where i have some work that i've made with Structolite and like um, made with armatures and then sh um, made armatures, put styrofoam on it and then put Structolite on top of that styrofoam. And so when I first made these, I put on a very, very thin layer of Structolite. And so in some areas, I don't think you can see any, unfortunately, because I've covered, oh wait, no. Some areas where like I had some foam, like spray foam specifically, since it was a glossy surface, it didn't want to stick onto the Structolite. Um, and so you want to make sure that areas that are being covered with Structolite are not really glossy. Uh, there's, you want them to kind of be rough. It's, it's okay if they're smooth, but it's not going to want to adhere necessarily, uh, just because it's a really glossy surface with a lot of surface area. But yeah, um, super lightweight like these, like that weighs, I swear to God, like 10 pounds really easy to carry people have lifted it by themselves or with other people this is a bit more heavy but again it's mainly the armature and like the foam is very lightweight um not great for outside i wanted to put these outside but you know it's just gonna wick away all the moisture because plaster is very porous um but i dyed these with acrylic paint so plaster is or structural light is dyeable um with like water-based pigments. I haven't tried it with any other thing besides acrylic paint, just like, you know, anything you would paint with, but yeah. Um, I've used it like twice now, I guess, with these two projects, but it's a really great material. I think it's relatively cost effective. Uh, well, now it costs like $22 per, um, what is it called? 50 pound bag. It used to cost 15 last year, but that's okay. Just doing close-ups now, and yeah, Structolite's a really good material. If you're interested, I suggest trying it. Don't know if I missed anything. I mean, if I did, there are other videos out there that are way better than this, so get at them. All right. Also, I bet you can't guess where I work. Yeah. Okay. Well, one last shot of the minion, because I didn't really <laughs> mention him, but yeah. All right.